Well, because this is a geometry class, let's do some algebra. <laughs> Problem four. So we have this triangle right here, and we know by the triangle sum theorem that the three angles add up to 180. They want us to find the value of x, but then they also want us to find the measurements of each of those angles. So we begin with setting up the triangle sum theorem because we can go ahead and use it to solve for x. So we have this angle, which is x degrees. We have 90 degrees. And we have uh, 2x degrees. So we add up all three of those angles and get 180 degrees. And if it helps, you can draw a little square here. We know that's a right angle. So let's go ahead and take care of some business. We This is the setup based on the triangle sum theorem. There's a one in front of here, if that helps. So I have this 1x and this 2x gives me a 3x. And I can bring down the 90 degrees and the 180 degrees. And we can subtract the 90 from both sides. Right? This is called a two-step equation. We've been practicing it quite a bit in this class last semester. So I get 3x equals 90 degrees. And if I divide both sides by 3, I get that x equals 30 degrees. And I should say actually x equals 30. My bad. I lost a degree symbol around here somewhere. There. So if we do that, and we divide both sides by the degrees, we get x equals just 30. Okay, so what does it all mean? It means that x is equal to 30. So I found the value for x, and that's 30 degrees. If I take this x and I plug it back into this angle right here, I get 30 degrees because it's just x. Now this is already 90 degrees, so that's done. So I know this green one is 30. I know this red one is 90. For this orange one, I'm going to plug in this 30 in for the x. So that's 2 times 30. That's 60 degrees. So we found this green one is 30 degrees. This red one is 90 degrees. This orange one is 60 degrees. And if you want to check, you should. What is 30 plus 60 plus 90? It's 180 because all of the measurements of the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Here's a beefier one. Why don't you take a moment to pause and try the setup? You're going to use a triangle sum theorem, set these up, Add all three, set them equal to 180 degrees. If you want to go ahead and go all the way with it, you're going to get that x equals 13. I'll show you in a bit, but if you want to pause this video to set it up and try it out, make yourself feel good about yourself, I'm, I'm down with that, so feel free to pause. Six and a half hours later. So here's the setup using the triangle sum theorem. We can drop those parentheses. If we were to go ahead and combine these like terms with each other, we're going to get 10x. There's a 1 right there, right? And then 20 plus 30 gives me 50. And our setup becomes this. We subtract 50 from both sides. And then we divide both sides by 10 and we get that x equals 13. But that's not any of the angles. That's just a variable to help us to find the measurements of the angles. So let's find this green angle up here, 6x. Well, we know that x is 13, so I want to plug that in. And doing so, we get 78 degrees. So this angle right here is 78 degrees. Next, we'll do this blue one. What is the value of x? Well, we had found earlier that x equals 13. So this x is going to be replaced with the 13 that we found back a few minutes ago. 
and we're going to go ahead and simplify this in order of operations. So we do 3 times 13 first. And then 39 plus 20 gives us 59 degrees. So what we're saying is that this angle right here is 59 degrees. So far we have a 70 degree angle and we have a 59 degree angle. Next, let's find this angle right here, this orange angle. X plus 30 degrees. We know that the X value was 13. So I'm going to plug in a 13 for X. And doing so, we get 43 degrees for this orange angle. Now again, I leave it up to you as an exercise, but would you do you a favor and apply the triangle sum theorem? If you take these three angles that we just found and add them up, what should you get? Check it out with your calculator. Problem five. So there's a special little something that happens because of the triangle sum theorem. And it's technically called the exterior angles theorem or the exterior angle singular theorem. And it's, let's look at this picture to help you figure that out. So we discussed uh, last video what an exterior angle would look like. So in this drawing right near here, right here, we have three interior angles. We have P, Q, and R. But I did give you one exterior angle. In this case, it's called angle one. So let's focus on P, Q, and R. How are P, Q, and R related? And for those of you waiting for me to write down a lot of things, I want you to listen more to what I'm saying and write down the things that you're hearing and that are making sense to you. So we know that P, Q, and R are related by the triangle sum theorem. In other words, they're related by angle P plus angle Q plus angle R equals 180 degrees. So that's how we know that they're related to each other. Now, how for part B, how are angles R and 1 related to each other? Now, if we're focusing on this right here, it might help if I redraw it for you. I'm hoping this reminds you of a linear pair, right? These are two supplementary angles that are adjacent to each other. So angle R and angle 1 are related to each other because they're a linear pair. Now, according to the linear pair postulate, you might need to brush up your old thoughts for this, but according to the linear pair postulate, or in, according to the definition of a linear pair, we can say that angle R plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees. Now, if you didn't write that down, you should. And if you didn't write down what you said a minute ago about the triangle sum theorem, right, you should write that down as well. So for part A, I mentioned that angle P plus angle Q plus angle R equals 180 degrees, which I hope you wrote down. For part B, we're saying, well, this is a linear pair, so angle R plus angle 1 equals 180 degrees. I warned you early on in this class that understanding your vocabulary is crucial to you being able to understand the material because we're constantly adding more and more to this subject of geometry. So we've established A and we've established B. So if angle P was 65 degrees and angle Q was 55 degrees, well, what would angle R be? Surely, based on what we talked about in part A, we can set up the triangle sum theorem and we can solve for R. And doing so, we're going to get that R is equal to 60 degrees. So st st stay with me here, but okay, we found angle R, right? Angle R is 60 degrees. But if R is 60 degrees, then what's angle one going to be equal to? And don't tell me 60 degrees because they're not congruent, right? We said in part B, angles R and angle one are a linear pair. And a linear pair is a supplementary adjacent pair, which means that they add up to 180 degrees. So I'm saying angle R plus angle one is equal to 180 degrees, which means if I set this up and I solve for angle one, I get that angle one is 120 degrees. Interesting. Now, why does this matter? Because part E, we've set everything up for you to see what's going on here. What is angle one? 
120 degrees. Do me a favor. What's angle P plus angle Q? What's what's this plus this? Oh snap! Oh snap! So check it. What we're saying with the exterior angle theorem is that these two angles, if you add them up, is equal to this angle right here. That was the simple version. Let me give you the technical version. Okay, and that's the following: that the it, the two interior angles, right? These are two interior angles. I know there's three, but we're focusing on these two. These two interior angles opposite of this exterior angle are equal to this exterior angle. So in other words, we're saying angle one is the same as angle P plus angle Q, which is pretty useful because that'll let us get away with calculating some angles that we wouldn't be able to otherwise. So the exterior angle theorem is saying, hey, add these two up. It's the same answer as this one on the outside. For your summary, for problem five, explain in words why angle one is equal to angle P plus angle Q.